goals against average at 2.72 on the season. And he's only 16, yeah. so that's something else. The future of the hockey club looks pretty bright with him in their hands. Quick shot across the uh, crease area. Now it's poked in there by Lescovar. Lescovar will uh, remain at his left point looking for that puck. And, of course, Mississauga looking to start quick here. Pass picked up by David Goyette. Almost broke through the defense there, but got knocked off the puck in almost a, an interference-type manner. That was something we can talk a little bit about the refereeing in the first two games, too. There was uh, some interesting calls or non-calls. Well, again, a big thing that... Uh, we talked about, or at least we're talking about before the game, Nick, is the fact that penalties can be very dangerous to get, especially in the playoffs. And there's an example of why you want to avoid taking those penalties. And uh, I won't say needless penalties, but uh, certainly penalties that uh, don't have to really be taken. Cleared up the boards, kept in by DeAngelis. DeAngelis will chop it over, goes to the far side. Delic will swipe at it. Mason Zabeski dumping it down towards Jakob Vondras, who makes the stop on it. And it's clipped outside down the ice towards the Mississauga goaltender. Icing. Off since David Levin scored the overtime winner in 2019 against these same Steelheads. Shot from the point is uh, swept wide as Von Richter let that one go. And have another attempt at it, stopped by Villeneuve. Now they'll clear the puck out to the neutral zone. No, they won't, as it's kept in by Gee. Now they will try to move it up, and they're successful. Here comes Coach Adelic right now. Kind of fell off the end of his stick. He wasn't able to recuperate it. Witkowski will send it back to Zidlicki. Zidlicki is shot. Power play for Sudbury. Dvorsky will take the draw. Loses it, and it'll come back to the corner. Kept in by Nick DeAngelis. DeAngelis now takes a couple of strides across the blue line, and we'll find an opening there for Quentin Musty. Out in the front, and the net is knocked off one more time. And again, not successful as Martone wins that one. Down back behind the Wolves net. Stopped there by Vondras. Here comes DeAngelis. He'll turn, drop it back to uh, wandering David Goyette. The puck came loose and they knocked it back in. Now Vondras way out of the net will feed it up for Quentin Musty. Musty fires it off the back of the Sudbury net. So a little disoriented here. The first power play for the Wolves. Dvorsky drops it back to Musty. You're hearing the go Wolves go chant as Musty comes across the line over here for Dvorsky. Back to the point. DeAngelis on that side for Goyette. And DeAngelis over for Goyette. Long shot directly in front. Not one but two Wolves players had an opportunity at it. But neither one of them could make contact with the puck. Now they'll try it again. They still have 50 seconds left. The man advantage over on that far side. Now Musty will work around into the corner. Leaves it there for Nick DeAngelis who got tripped up. And DeAngelis has got a couple of Mississauga players. It squirts free finally. And Dvorsky has a look. Back to the point he'll go. David Goyette cross ice pass to Quentin Musty. Musty going for the short side. Turning around, getting it back to DeAngelis. DeAngelis lets the shot go. Glove! The top, it was professional from here up. That's all that it, they needed to know at work. And there was no way those Sudbury Wolves pajamas were coming off of me. Because as Michael Scott would say, I'm a little bit stitious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Here comes Mississauga across the line again. And a little backhand pass that goes wide of the net and into the corner. They'll try it one more time. As the Wolves deflected off the skate of Noah Van Vliet, and then Mania will pick it up. There's Matt Mania. He's got a little bit of room. Decides he'll go for a skate across the red line, across the blue line. Feeds off to Coach Adele. As Stevie Lescovar will take a final shot at Dalibor Dvorsky. Across the line, here comes Vilnov. Vilnov trying to get a shot on net. Shoots it wide. Back to the point. And out to the neutral zone it goes. Shot still. Now 30 games played in the playoffs. Zachary Giroux now 28 playoff games and also Noah Van Vliet 25 and Donovan McCoy. Buck is one back to Harding. Harding cross ice pass up the boards. Coach Adelic will turn and fire it back in again. And the goaltender is out to 
bump it up the boards and kicked in by Donovan McCoy. Here comes Mississauga back the other way. David Goyette will feed off to the defenseman, and it's tipped ahead, but Della can't get a hold of it. And now there'll be a foot race for it, Harding against Villeneuve. Villeneuve will come up with the puck, gets it back to the point. Donovan McCoy, and he lets that one go and did not miss by much. Back into the corner, they're going to continue with it now. And another poor pass intercepted by the Wolves. Coach Adelic lets it go. Hits the back of the net. Back over on this side. Quick shot by McCoy right into the... And a quick whistle. The unit number one out there. 345 left to go in this first period. Mississauga will start by firing at the length of the ice. DeAngelis chops it around behind him, and David Goyette picks it up. Now DeAngelis with it. He'll go to the blue line and then toss it back to Goyette. Goyette will cut to his right, and again he cuts to his right. Now to his left, over for Dvorsky. Let's it go. He might have clicked that one off the crossbar as he let that one go almost immediately after receiving it. Yeah, that one hit right post and went out of the zone. Great chance for Dalibor Dvorsky. Here's Quentin Musty as he skates the blue line. Looking for a blue platter, a blue sweater to pass it to. Goes back to Goyette to DeAngelis. Back to Goyette now. Goyette moving in a little bit. Now DeAngelis has got somebody with Musty over on that far side. Quick shot. They'll work it around again. And Dvorsky will turn, fire, and Konyan takes Fibiger. He's being chased. He'll bring the puck up, intercepted by David Goyette. Goyette now will put the brakes on. He'll have to get up again and then feeds it back to Goyette. Cross-ice pass, but he had too many players to try and get it through as he tried to set up Nathan Villeneuve with it. Forgot to bring the puck as Goyette was stripped of it as he was walking out towards the front of the Mississauga net. Ten seconds remain. Anania, cross-ice pass for... Coach Adele. Here comes Collins asking for the shot. Not going to get it before the host. And he doesn't need a whole lot of room, just maybe a little less physicalness on him to get him that. Misa will pick it up for Mississauga as he clears it to the near side boards. Goyette now. Cross ice pass will find the stick of Andre Anania. And then Villeneuve kicks it towards the net. Villeneuve goes back in and it's going to be gobbled up there by. Chaz Sharp back out to the neutral zone, into the zone, intercepted, and now the Wolves on this side take a shot. Another opportunity as Coach Adelic let that one go. Villeneuve with another shot in tight, and finally off the ice, and someone should have a word or two with him, I would think. Back behind the Sudbury Wolves net. Nolan Collin feeds it around, but it's going to be picked up by Villeneuve, cleared by Vondras into the draw. Losing it, getting it back to the point. Now David Goyette feeds it off the boards. Ahead for Nate Villeneuve. Villeneuve, cross ice, man behind. Shot up high. And so it goes off the end glass. And Andre Anania has control. Giving back to Collins. Collins to Anania off his skate. A couple of steelheads going after them now. It'll be cleared out by Villeneuve. Villeneuve up to Goyette. Goyette can't get a hold of it. Now Villeneuve will try his best. It'll be picked up by Andre Anania. Anania ahead to coach Adelic. Adelic has nowhere to go with it. Feeds it back to Collins. Collins lets his shot go. Blocker side. That goaltender Ivan Kovic made a nice stop on. Back the other way. And Nolan Collins collides with his own player. And they leave a man wide open. And they score to make it 2 to nothing. I mean, you can usually find them on the trail of lava. That's where you usually go for them. Condi now trying to get it back. Also helping out there is David Goyette, but Lescobar is doing his best to hold the puck in place, and now it squirts free for a moment. Now they'll get it back out to Dvorsky, trying to clear it out in the slot area. Cleared and off the skate of Nick DeAngelis, but here comes McDonnell. McDonnell will backhand it into the corner, go after the puck. And then we'll try to basically stop up play one more time. So a lot of time being wasted holding it up. We'll have to make a stop. Miris 
Swing and a miss by the Mississauga player. And Delic, or sorry, Musty at that left point. Over for Dvorsky. Five on three, back and forth, looking for a quick slot to go to. Goyette was there. Back again, they'll go. Dvorsky to Musty. Dvorsky lets it go. Rebound, they score! It passed the goaltender. Puck moving around, shot up high from Dvorsky, and it's right through the five hole. Sudbury Wolves make it. Got to have a good effort out there. Good job by Zedlecki to get the puck towards the net. Cleared up there by Dean Lucas, and finally it'll be controlled by Vilna. Cross ice pass to Goyette. Goyette has got some speed, puts the brakes on, and then will spin away from. Well, tried to spin away, but wasn't able to do so. McCoy will come in, tipped there in front of the net by David Goyette, who is the goal scorer for the Sudbury Wolves. Goyette is held into the boards there. Can't move away from number 23, Luke Nogiuska. And it's a weak pass to Sharp. Sharp will dump it in behind the Sudbury Wolves net. Comes over for Donovan McCoy. McCoy couldn't quite get a hold of it, but Goyette will send it over to... Nick DeAngelis, DeAngelis across the blue line. Coming out over on this side, trying to get it for Coach Adelic, a bouncing puck that he couldn't pick up. Out in the front, swing and a miss there as Evan Conyon, or uh, Goyette, I should say, took a swing at it and not successful in striking it, however. Now Van Vliet has a bit of a bounce. He's on the draw right now. No, that was Evan Conyon back to DeAngelis. Cross ice flip pass as they work this power play right now, getting it over to Musty. Back to DeAngelis on this side. He'll go to David Goyette, swing and a miss, but he does get it behind the net for Conyon. Conyon now trying to keep it in. It's kept in there nicely by DeAngelis. And Goyette back to DeAngelis. A bouncer this time, he can't keep it in, so all the Wolves will have to clear the zone, and they'll send it over to David Goyette. Goyette, cross ice pass for Dalibor Dvorsky. Dvorsky on this side for Conyon. Conyon will whip it around the boards, and going in there is Quentin Musty. Musty trying to work that puck free, and he gets it around for David Goyette on the other side. Goyette with it now. Partially blocked pass to Musty, and Musty's pass didn't go anywhere. Now Musty will have to give chase. And they score to make it 3-2. to two. Play for the Steelheads. Face off finally picked up by the Wolves. McCoy will pick it up as he works up ice down his right hand side across the blue line. Tried to fake out to the right side. Now we'll go in and trying to grab that puck back, the veteran defenseman. Mississauga, Finn Harding. Sebeski can't go far with it as Villeneuve will push it back. And Harding comes away with it now. Feathers it up over on the right hand side. Dean Lucas leading into McCoy and the shot towards the net. 16 seconds remaining. Harding banks it off the board and Carmiris looking for the hat trick tonight. Harding ahead for Carmiris goes by him and back of the net. Carmiris feeds it off to this side trying to shovel it in. And it is his accurate make that uh, Nathan Villeneuve on the far side. How about David Goyette? Sure, David Goyette, I'll go with him, why not? Back around the far corner, there's Andre Anania to Goyette. Goyette will flip it out to the neutral zone where Coach Delic is right now. Delic trying to drop it back for Villeneuve. That one didn't connect, and here comes Mississauga. Back the other side, banking it off the boards for Porter Martone, and a shot as Martone is taken down and out of the play by Andre Anania. Nolan Collins now. Villeneuve will try to get it past Harding. He goes down, grabs the puck with his glove. Villeneuve losing the draw. The Wolves are losing a lot of draws in the Mississauga end tonight, and that's uh, costing them quite a bit of possession time. Martone now will bring it across the line, and they flip it out off the boards and into the slot area. Hanging on to it is McDonald. McDonald will leave it in front, and then Vondris is there to poke it away with the stick. Long pass too far for the intended target, David Goyette. Delic. And then uh, Vilna trying to skate into that area where the puck was. 
Misa will get it ahead. No icing on it. Nolan Collins trying to move it up the boards. He does to Coach Adelic. And Delic will go for a bit of a skate behind his net. Cutting to his right now. He'll dump it in. Tripped up again, but that one was allowed to pass. Reed Gee. Out to the neutral zone it goes. And a quick pass up for Goyette. That'll be icing as to maybe punch it forward. No, he'll get back. Gets it back to the point. Von Richter with his shot. And away they go with it now. Villeneuve feeds it back to Donovan McCoy on the far side for Goyette. Villeneuve had to stop the puck with his glove. And then it's back and behind the net. Back the other way. Von Richter will... Keep on moving it up on that left wing. As Mississauga comes across the wall. Out of one that game, he was the guy who got to the front of the net. And Donovan McCoy took a shot from the point that he tipped in to tie the game and force overtime. So we'll see if they kind of go with a similar strategy, getting Kanyan back to the front of the net. Back into the corner. McCoy with it. Looks to Musty, instead goes to... David Goyette back on this side for Musty. Cross ice pass for Goyette. Takes it off the boards. Turns with it. Into Dvorsky. Dvorsky back for Goyette. Goyette gets it back at the corner. And a quick shot. Pass up for Goyette. Goyette trips it over for McCoy. And fans are calling for a shot on net. Nice play by the goaltender to get over there. Ivanovic and kept in nicely by Donovan McCoy. Musty. Back to McCoy on that side. Quick shot, partially blocked by Lescovar. And uh, Goyette tried everything he could to stop it from going out, but was not playing that right wing now. Donovan McCoy will knock it down, and then it's back behind the net. There to bounce it out there is Vondris, but his pass goes right to a Mississauga player. Here comes Quentin Musty. Musty feeds to the far side for Goyette, who puts the brakes on. Cross ice falling behind. A shot, rebound, oh! Goyette and Musty on the same line. And Dvorsky wins a very important faceoff. Shot in front, hit Dvorsky as it picked up by Mississauga now. Stopped and picked off by Nolan Collins. Uh, pushing ahead past me. Back to now, we'll push it back, and it'll be Nolan Collins with it. Collins tipped in by Goyette. Now the Wolves, Musty will work in from the left side and then come back out again. Here comes Misa with Misa trying to get it ahead, but that pass was intercepted and uh, Dvorsky now looking for it, but Misa was there to take it away from him. And Goyette now, Goyette for Musty. It was uh, Dvorsky trying to feed it around to Musty, but Lucas will pick it up as they work back over the line, spinning away from one check. And clearing it behind the Wolves net. Andre Anania with it. Musty. Quentin Musty with it. Puts it through one player's stick. Goes across over on this side for Goyette. Goyette's shot. This is a long, long shift for this line. They chop it over to that side. And Dvorsky gets that one. A rebound went off of his uh, mouth, I think, and knocked his mouth guard off in the process as they work over towards getting it back again. Goyette trying to hang it in there. Gets it knocked back out of his way. And again, again, a very long, long shift for those uh, three players. Musty will go out. Fly. Goyette and Ferrand as they line up three across the red line. Through the legs of Ferrand, trying to get it back to the point. Luke Misa has it right now as... Rand is in there digging away as they kill off some valuable seconds. Dean Lucas also trying to help out. Lucas gets it back around for Von Richter. Von Richter for Lucas. And around the board to the far side now. Ferrand's got to stand his ground. Cleared away by Donovan McCoy. There's Alex Ferrand with it. Ferrand will find an opening and clear it the length of the ice with 20 seconds left in the penalty kill. Five NOJHL action. If there is a game six, we're going to go later with that game. So we'll show you the Wolves game. And then right after the Blind River Beavers and Sudbury Cubs, we'll show you that game.
Back behind the Sudbury Wolves net. Andre Anania heads up. Over on this left side for David Goyette. Goyette kind of swung on, let the puck fall off the end of his stick, then gets it over to the far side. Coach Adela couldn't grab it, so that'll be a game because they are creating some pressure five on five. Losing the draw again, that's a tough one to lose. McCoy lets it go by him, and it's back into the separate territory. Not enough for an icing call, however. We're under three minutes left to go in the third period. Andre Anania across the line, forgot to bring the puck with him. And McCoy will try his luck. McCoy's pass ahead for Dvorsky. Dvorsky on this side for Musty. Musty shoots, but again, the stop is made by Ivan Kovic. Anania now trying to get it over to the far corner. Backhands and clears it into the zone, but it's going to be picked up there by Dean Lucas. Lucas will control the puck. He'll take a check, heavy check off the boards from Andre Anania. And then David Goyette comes away with it. Goyette up to Musty. 2.10 remaining. Musty just to the left of the goal. Back to Quentin Musty in the nice pass, but unfortunately went right to the Mississauga Steelheads player. And Lucas will dump it in as the Steelheads make some changes in the final minutes. Passed up to Quentin Musty. Musty will cut to his right and then a backhand pass that will go just wide of the net. Jacob Fibiger. Fibiger off the boards. And the puck is Sleeper Von Volsen. Coming back to help out is DeAngelis. DeAngelis is pass off of Goyette's stick. And they're whistling that one down. Not Musty and Dvorsky back out on. Musty trying to get it back to Dvorsky, who feeds to Goyette. Donovan McCoy as well. McCoy across the blue line, feeds back to Musty now. Quentin Musty, if you're going to dump it in, which you did, then make sure you're the first one in there. But it's going to be held out as the Wolves retain the services of Jakob Vondras in net. And they've got a man wide open in front of the net. That's Luke Misa. Last minute of play. Musty will make a dangerous play in front of his own net, then feed it up over on that right-hand side. Bondras has gone to the far corner, or gone to the crease, or the bench, I should say, and then dumped back in for David Goyette. Goyette back to the point. McCoy misplayed, and Martone will dump it 